All right, so as you know, the uh, MSEG is a big part of Bitwig 5. We get it as a modulator. We also get it as an envelope right here, but we also get it as an oscillator. So if I go to the polymer and I bring this, notice that you get the scroll. So the scroll has the same idea, works with the MSEG engine. So you can find the scrolled oscillator on the polymer, but you can get it, you get it as a grid module. So if you, you know, you know your way around the grid, you can find it there. So right here, the point is that you can draw your own waveforms. I'm going to be playing a single note. It's just a single, single lonely note. So by changing this, you're going to be getting different tones. How cool is that? And you can go really crazy right here. You can create whatever you want. And as you know, you can uh, you have the snap, which is you know the grid. You get the back, and you can make really complex waveforms. That's the point. Maybe I'm gonna be doing something like this, and just just shape your own wave your own waveforms oscillators. And get you know really unconventional sounds and the point of all of this is that you can deviate a little bit from you know the traditional oscillators that you get and how you can design your own and as usual with the msex you can load or you can you know create one and then save it so if i go right here it's going to give you a lot of different options and then again maybe you can select one just say okay and then if you want to edit whatever it is that you have right here, you can. Right? So there you go. It's just a pretty cool thing. Now, on Bitwig 5, you know, like I said before, the MSEG is like the main start of the start of the show. So you can create your own oscillators. If you wanted to, you can create whatever it is that you want right here on your envelopes. And again, and again, again, you can bring whatever or do whatever you want right here as a mod, as a modulator, right? And we can do pretty much the same thing. Is well, it's pretty much the same engine. So if I do something like that and then just map it and go crazy, you can create really awesome sounds. So now again, you have no excuses. If you don't find anything, uh, something that you like in terms of oscillators, you can just, you know, draw your own. And like I said before, uh, you get it as a grid module. If I go to the grid, if I bring the polygrid right here and I go to the oscillator section, right here you have the scroll. So, you know, you get it. And it's pretty much the same thing, you know, with uh, the uh, grid options that you usually get for any of the oscillators. And again, this is great because now the possibilities of creating sound of sound design are just, you know, multiplied by a lot. If you want an emulation of a classic synth, uh, you just, you know, go to Arturia and the, or maybe Cherry Audio and then you get it. You know, that, that, that's it. This, you know, it's not what it's all about. It's just, you know, of the ability of creating and designing your own sounds. And like I uh, always said, Bitwig is a musical instrument with a DAW. And, you know, not the other way around. All right, so maybe in the near future, I'm going to be uploading some videos, just, you know, building different sounds. So using all of this, why not? All right, so that's it. It was a short one just to show you the scroll uh, oscillator. And uh, remember, if you liked all of this too, you know, like and subscribe and see you on the next one.